Good afternoon, everyone. Thousands and thousands of geese are descending upon the UK months earlier than usual, as well as about 15 other bird species are completely off their migration pattern. Winter will repeat 1962 and 63. This is what it was like in the UK. 1947 also a repeat possible. Chilliest summer in Finland in 50 years. Coldest summer since 1992 in Iceland. University of Washington tries to explain the pause in global warming by that heat being diverted to 2,000 meters in depth. Let's take a look at the temperature at 2,000 meters. It's all declining. Surface temperature map globally on our oceans. Colder around Iceland as well. It's so cold, in fact, that there have been no cod caught this year. And a plethora of early warnings for the UK based on plunging ocean temperatures. Take a look at the United Kingdom, including Northern Ireland, Ireland, Scotland, and England. The winter map for this year, intense cold is forecast through several different sources. Jet stream going to dip incredibly low as well as water temperatures. And scientists are one thing, but nature always gives us better warning signs of what's to come. Thousands of light-bellied brents descending on Northern Ireland months early. This follows with last week's Bewick swan migration from Russia. The saying goes that the swan brings snow on its bill. The Express, with all this hype, talking about how the UK is going to repeat either 1962 winter or 1946-47 winter. A quick jump over to Wikipedia, talking about the winter of 62-63, known as the Big Freeze. December, it started. January was colder. February, more snow. But it was incredibly foggy in the months prior to winter. Also, central English temperatures during those years, breaking records back to the 1730s and 40s. This is the winter of 1947. Double-decker stuck in snow. Commuter trains stuck in snow. A weather chart of that storm that buried part of the UK. 1947. Nature giving us signs. Reporting this year is the blue line. The red line is the reporting historical rate. Comparing Siskin, far above normal. And I'll ask you to turn your head to the left as I just couldn't get these to fit into the screen. Goldcrest, October migration, greater than usual. As well, goldfinch. These are birds from Scotland that are descending into the UK. Gray shrike, not even showing up at all this year in the UK. Lapland bunting, same thing. Very low numbers migrating to the UK. They're choosing other destinations. Pied flycatcher, extreme migration to the UK early. Absurd numbers above the norm. Richard Pippet, this is a story I covered about the Australian Pippet also not migrating back to the Arctic. This would explain why their numbers are so low again. Something is going on with either magnetic field on our planet or just the weather is so cold that they intuitively know to go to other destinations and locations to survive this brutal winter coming. Jumping over to Finland, coldest in 50 years for the summer, coldest summer since 1992 in Iceland. University of Washington publishing a paper trying to explain the hiatus for global warming as winds are blowing the heat into the ocean and it's sinking and getting sucked to extreme depths as deep as 2,000 meters or 6,500 feet. Professor Tung and the co-author Xian Yaochen from the University of China, Zhongguo Dashue. Let's take a look at what's happening at 2,000 meters. As you can see, it's either level, declining, there's only one increase. That temperature is 12.24 degrees rising to 12.32 degrees. That's not even one-tenth of a degree rise. And they're trying to explain that all this supposed heat is going to make the temperature of the entire globe rise. Four to seven degrees in the next few years has suddenly changed the ocean 
at 2,000 meters depth, one-tenth of a degree. And that was only from 55 to 65 degrees north latitude. I dissected a couple other charts here from Climate for You. You can take a look at the ocean temperatures at depth and latitude and longitude. Jumping over to Greenland, taking a look at the current sea surface temperatures from October 17th, Focus specifically around Iceland. That's where it's getting really cold right now. NASA Earth Observatory, August 2002. I would like you to focus up in the northern hemisphere at the Arctic. Notice the color change getting cooler around Greenland specifically and the ice cover increasing between there and August of 2015. 2002, 2015, cooling Iceland, Reykjavik, the currents do flow from north down to south, and another study verifies the same cooling trend happening across the northern oceans in the cool blob. Ocean off Iceland, unusually cold, no mackerel caught this year. Coming right on the heels of another report from the Discovery Channel. Plunging ocean temperatures in the Atlantic are behind the early UK winter warnings. It is going to be incredibly cold in the UK this year. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030. Pass this to your friends in the UK and across Europe and let them see what's going to happen. In